Hello, reformers, and welcome back to A Clash of Kings 2.1. Now, when we left off, we had, well, defeated a couple of smugglers and taken their loot, and in actual fact, we slaughtered most of them, but we let one group go in exchange for a little bit of wine, which I have to say was not worth it at all. No, the wine was only 151, if that, at any of the marketplaces. Obviously, we haven't yet gone to a marketplace to actually see what transpired with the price, but it doesn't look good. It really does not look good, and I think we were actually taken for a ride there. We were played like a fiddle. We were quite the fool. So, yes, we should have just slaughtered everyone, but unfortunately... That was not the case, but we are very close to Nun's Deep, of course. So we're going to be exploring the area a little bit, because I think there's actually a companion that we can gain here, if it is the same as the previous versions. But maybe it's not, so I guess we're going to see whether that is indeed the case. I think it might be. It might be. The prisoner inside the cage has a swollen look, bumps and tiny dots scattered across his face. Okay. Finish reading, thank you. Okay, so, uh, Guardsman Alan? What's going on here? There are so many people called Alan in this. I'm not too sure why. Uh, here's Tom. What? He says. Who are you? Without any question mark or anything. I'm Tom, and I'm not mad. Tell that Guardsman I was just stung by a bee. Oh, really? Did he? Watch your face, he likes to bite. I'm busy. Uh, what are you busy with? Are you serious? I'm going to get out of my car... I'm not entirely sure why I said car, but Xbox, get, get over there. Xbox, turn on. Xbox, move over to the right. And it doesn't work. I, I, I don't have the voice commands for Xbox, unfortunately. Ah, that's so disappointing. But he says I'm busy. I don't know what you're busy with, fellow. But apparently you're in here for some reason. What? Says Kyle. What are you doing? Bugger off. Okay, so apparently, what? What is this place? It's a gold mine. What's it look like? Is it? Is it a gold mine? Because it looks like a fool's hole to me. Yes. Do you, you hear me? You hear me, guards, guardsman Holger? Yeah, you heard me. Okay, come on, Xbox. Let's get out of here. So apparently we can't get the companion that we wanted from this particular area, so that's kind of a little bit disappointing, isn't it? Well, that's kind of unfortunate, I have to say, because otherwise, yeah, that probably would have been a really nice thing to do, but I guess we are just going to have to head onward anyway. We're going to be heading on to High Fall, because we have completed, technically, completed the quest, but obviously we've been bribed by one of them, which is a little bit dishonest, but we're going to see. I'm going to... Quest concluded. It's in red, so I'm a little bit worried about that. I have to say. So I guess we're going to meet with the village elder and see what he has to say. Oh. Really? That was pretty... Oh, okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. You disappoint me, Elias. There were three groups of smugglers that I asked you to hunt down. Three. I suppose I should be grateful that they would not all return. Their hearts are black with vengeance for the poor villagers who sold them out. But some will return, and that will be a bloody business. Here, take your reward and let this business be done. Okay, so, in actual fact, slaughtering all of them probably would have been a good idea, but they they didn't seem like bad people, in actual fact. They did not. So, okay, well, that's a little bit weird. Eat the berries. Yes, you've gained five one-handed weapon proficiency. The berries were very tasty. Oh, I'm glad to see that. I am actually very glad to see that. So, okay, we're going to be heading on now to the crossing because we might be able to find Aegon Bloodborne. Again, in the previous episode, I stated that maybe Bloodborne himself has a huge amount of forces to worry about, and I'm kind of a little bit worried about them in actual fact, but, well... I, I don't know. I mean, it may we may as well get to the next stage of the quest. So I don't think it's actually going to make too much difference if we decide to do it or not. Unfortunately, yeah, those raiders were a little bit too fast for us and we un unfortunately were unable to catch up. But, well, there you go. That's just how it goes sometimes. So, instead, we're going to head into the old stones. Can I? Yeah, I can. Explore the ruins. Okay, maybe we'll get a little bit of extra experience or not. Oh, there we go. Explore the ruins of old stones to gain experience. Oh, yes, that's great. Elbert, what? What are you doing? Bugger off. Okay, so apparently everyone is like that. 
Oh, okay. That's what happened when I pressed... Okay, never mind. What are you doing here? Our wagon broke down amidst the ruins, and our guardsmen seem unable to put on a new wheel. Can you tell me about this place? Okay, so, one thing. We went up to this guy who seems to be having car trouble. Technically, it is a car, it's a wagon. And we say, can you give me a guided tour of this place? Can you give me a map of this place? Can you give me your wife? Can you give me some money? And, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's coming across here. Oh, and uh, he's perfectly happy to tell us. Okay, so apparently he's a really nice guy. Certainly, the original name of Old Stones has been lost in the mists of time, and the current name was given to the ruins by the small folk. Before the Andals invaded, when the Riverlands were ruled by House Mud, this place was their seat. Christopher Mudd, the one they called the Hammer of Justice, ruled from here, and his grave is over there by the sepulchre. Now, Hammer of Justice is a paladin technique from a certain craft of war. References, references. Fascinating. Oh, apparently it is fascinating. And apparently we're data from some kind of trek of stars. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where, where that's from. Okay, so, what? What are you doing? Trying to get this damned wagon moving. Okay, well, I hope, I hope you're actually going to be successful, I suppose. What? What are you doing? Replacing a wheel. Oh, how, how fantastic. I'm not entirely sure why they even have dialogue. And amusingly enough, the wagon does actually have wheels. Yes, it does actually have wheels. Okay, well, I guess we're going to explore a little bit. Thankfully enough, we have Xbox with us, so we should be able to go pretty fast. The statue depicts a stern-looking king, his eyes fixed on the horizon. Time has taken its toll on the statue, and the runes scribbled on the base makes it possible the statue was made not by Andals, but by the First Men. Well, that's good to know, and that is not what I wanted to do. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's head on over here a little bit, see what's going on. Nothing really going on here? Okay. Okay. I would have thought that we would have maybe gained some experience by talking to all of the NPCs, but apparently that was not the case. Let's head in here. Nothing around here. Xbox, come on now. You can't be so incredibly sluggish. I mean, I know your specs aren't really up to speed nowadays, but really, come on. You have to do a lot better than that. Okay, so... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, at the center of what once was would have been... No. That's, that's wrong. At the center of what once would have been the courtyard, there we go, a great carved sepulchre still rests, half hidden in the waist-high grass amongst, amongst a stand of ash trees. The lid of the sepulchre was carved into a likeness of the man whose bones lie beneath. But the rain and the wind has worn down the carving. The king had worn a beard, but otherwise his face is smooth and featureless, with only the vague suggestions of a mouth, a nose, eyes, and the crown about his temples. Ah, that's really cool to actually get some background on these places, I have to say. I really like that. Ooh, there's someone else over here. You come across an old statue depicting a mature woman, regal and serene. An old plaque is attached, but time and weather have eroded the words. Oh, that's, that's really unfortunate. And I continually pick up the quest log because I am not pressing K. I don't know why K is the continue button, but I suppose it had to be something, of course. Something that is lesser used, I guess. So is there anything else out here? I'm sure there is. There is definitely something else out here, but I am unsure where to find it. It's definitely not there. It's not here. So I'm going to assume that it might be over there. Yes, it's definitely going to be over. Oh, never mind. Okay, we've actually completed it. You've successfully explored the ruins of old stones. Okay, well, that's good. Very nice. We can now leave the ruins and head onward to somewhere else. Where are we going to head to? Well, I guess we're going to head to the crossing just to get stage two of the next quest and see what's going on there. We could actually take on some robber knights. I think that might be a good idea. Let's do that. We do need to continue leveling our units up. We don't want to let our XP gain per hour... Ooh, some MMORPG terms right there. Oh, uh -huh. uh, yes, look at this. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, never mind. But the point is, is that I would really like to keep up our XP gain. Because even though I'm not really against any kind of timetable here, I would like to make sure that we are getting a nice curve with our XP suitably 
high enough in level, I guess, to be able to fight anyone that we so desire. So, we are in the mist, and we are awaiting our opponent, but it's not really going to be too difficult unless... Oh, wow, they actually do have mounts. Okay, this is going to be a little bit worrying, but I suppose we have Xbox. As long as they are not PlayStation, we should be fine. So, yes, let's just... Oh, 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 my, maybe they are. Maybe, maybe they are. Are these guys PlayStation 4? If they're PlayStation 4, we are no match for them. Or maybe we are. We seem to be actually dealing some pretty good damage, in actual fact. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's that's quite the massacre, isn't it? Yes, they actually had no idea what they were walking into. Yeah. Okay, well, apparently, uh, yeah, maybe they were actually pretty good against us, but not against our, our actual units. <laughs> yes. Apparently our units are PC. Uh, I don't want to spark off any kind of wars here, but... We are technically already at war against the ra raiders. Yes, the raiders, in actual fact. Oh, oh, how, how dare you? How dare you? You're taking out our skirmishers. Oh, that's not particularly nice of you, is it? No. Okay, well, I'm going to try and get a little bit more experience here. Uh, yes, that's going to be incredibly difficult, of course. With the Unsullied and the Elite Stormlands Man-at-Arms, they're just way too good, obviously. Okay, well, there you go. Minor rewards, of course, two renowned former art. We did actually get three kills. We seem to actually always get three kills, so I guess that's not too bad. And we do get to take more loot. That's not bad either. So I guess we'll just head on to the crossing now, take a look at what's going on there. And then we'll see what's up. Is he around here? Is that him? Oh no, that's that's some village farmers. I literally mistook Aegon Bloodborne for some village farmers. Well, that's what I think of him, I guess. Yeah, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so every one of us has leveled up, but for now, I'm going to be ending this episode of here. Next time, we're going to be exploring the crossing and taking a look and see if we can find Mr. Bloodborne himself. He's no Mr. Dark Souls, is he? Well... We'll see. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.